This is a comparison of two of the Makita Quiet Series air compressors. There are three compressors in this Quiet Series line. There's a one gallon, a two gallon, and a three gallon. These two here are the two gallon on the left and the three gallon on the right. Uh, they're very similar to each other. The two gallon has a one horsepower motor and the one on the right, the three gallon has a 1.5 horsepower motor. The one on the right also has uh, two air outlets. Primarily, these are light-duty air compressors, good for airing up tires and finish guns. Occasionally, I use a framing nail gun, not a lot, but I wanted to compare these. They're both 60 decibels, so they're both very quiet. So first, what we'll do is we'll turn them both on. I'll make sure they're both empty, and then we're going to turn them both on at the same time and see which one fills up faster. We'll time them. Okay, the one on the left is finished, and the one on the right is finished right after. The one on the left took 51 seconds, and the one, the three gallon on the right, took 53 seconds. So, okay, now we're going to test the decibel rating. We'll try the one horsepower, two gallon one first. So, as you could tell, it seemed to be hovering closer to 70 decibels the whole time it was running it. So let's try the other one. So as I held it closer to the air compressor, it was closer to 74, 75 decibels. As I held it up higher, closer to where your ear would be, it was around 64, 65. So the one horsepower, two gallon one, was closer to 60 when it was up higher away, but closer to 70 when it was close uh, to the compressor itself. The three gallon, one and a half horsepower was around 74 decibels up close to the compressor and around 70 when it was 69 or 70 when it was a few feet away. Okay, it's been exactly one week. I unplugged, I let these both fill up to their maximum capacity, which was right around 120 or 125 pounds. And then I unplugged them and let them sit for a week. I just wanted to see how well they hold air. This smaller one on the left, it is still exactly in the same place on the gauge as it was a week ago. The three gallon compressor on the right has lost a little bit of air, maybe two pounds of air, but uh, that's it which is still pretty good, but, and I, and I don't think this is indicative of the three gallon compressor by any means, because I'm sure they're using the same components, but maybe just the hit and miss of the compressor you get. Okay, now we're gonna test the weight on each of these scales. We're gonna put them one at a time on the scale, see how much they actually weigh. So 44.75, and I think there was a 0.05 on the scale when it loaded up, so maybe 44.75 now. Okay, try the other one. So the scale started out with a 0.1, I noticed. This one's 51.7, so we're seven pound difference. Hefting each one, there doesn't feel like there's a huge difference. The three gallon is bigger physically and it weighs more, which is a, a bit more cumbersome to carry. The two gallon is not noticeably different, but it is easier to, to maneuver. But neither one is very difficult. Either one you can move around without much difficulty.
Okay, now I'm going to test how well these shoot a framing nail gun, which, as I said before, these aren't made to, to power a framing nail gun, especially for if you're doing a lot of nails. But I still wanted to see how well they hold up before they have to kick on. Both of these compressors are rated at 50% duty cycle, so they're not supposed to be run more than half the time. Uh, so we're going to see, I'm going to test how many nail shots they can drive into the wood before the compressor kicks on. I'm using 3 inch by 0.131 nails. I think that's the number 10 size. Let's see how many this smaller two gallon compressor can uh, shoot before the compressor kicks on. I've set both compressors at 105 psi on the regulator. We'll test the three gallon compressor now. Okay, we just tested them with the framing nail gun to see what their capacity was, and they weren't a whole lot different. The smaller compressor, the two gallon compressor on the left, was able, I did the test three times, it shot seven nails, seven nails, and then eight nails. And the larger compressor on three tests shot eight nails, nine nails, eight nails. So they were only one nail different, typically. That's not that many nails if you were a professional, framer, so you wouldn't want one of these if you were doing a lot of framing. I think the compressor would end up running most of the time. If you just have light framing here and there and use it for other things, such as finish nailing and uh, airing up tires in your cars, these are perfect. Uh, they are very quiet. Both of them are quiet, even though they both say 60 decibels. Our test showed that the, the three gallon one was more like 70 decibels. The three gallon compressor, based on what tests I've done, it's maybe not necessarily worth the extra price. Uh, it's, it's not a huge price difference. I think it was $80 difference. But uh, for me, I think the better bang for the buck is the two gallon one. It's lighter, quieter, seems to deliver the same kind of performance, but hopefully this helps you out as you're making your decision between these compressors. I think they're both great, but I think the two gallon one is probably the better one for me.